ACOP is important because it is the electronic database that maintains all of the records related to your Department of Labor claim or any claim you have ever had related to a workers' comp issue. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload documents to your ECOP account. Once you have logged into your ECOP account, select the claim that you wish, scroll to the top under Documents, click Add Documents to Existing Case. This is the easiest. So it's important that you enter all of this information correctly to access your case and make sure that you are uploading the documents to the correct claim number. Once you hit access the case, you should see this box that will say your last name, your date of birth, and the date of injury. If this box is empty, it is not going to upload it to the correct account. So make sure that this box has the correct information. Scroll down and hit select choose a file and select whichever file that you're planning to upload. It is important to note you can only upload a maximum of 20 pages at one time per upload. Once you have uploaded your file, you need to label it. So to do that, you're going to select document type and what it is. It could be something as simple as your CA7, which would be right here. It could be something that is related to a report or to imaging. Maybe you had some CTs done or some x-rays, that's fine. Just make sure that you label it as medical. The other thing that's important is that you want to put the author date. So it's not the date that you uploaded, it is the date of the document. So if this document was authored on January 1st, I would enter January 1st and the correct date and then select upload. That will then label it and send it to your ECOMP account. It is important to note all documents that are uploaded will not be visible by you or anyone else for a minimum of four hours after you upload it. 